one critical concept in, in enrichment is separative work. And it, it's one of the more difficult concepts to get in this whole area. Um, but if you want to understand the output of enrichment plants, you have to understand separative work. And it's really one simple way to put it. It's a measure of the effort required in enrichment facility to separate uranium of a given, of a given uranium-235 con 235 content into two fractions. And the unit is very complicated. Um, it's kilogram uranium separative, separative work unit. And, um, and it's shortened typically to kilogram of U, SWU. And in our work, we shorten it even more down to SWU and whether it, you can capitalize it or not. And so, but, but the, you know, it's any, I don't know if you've had economics. I haven't really, but it's, you know, it's a trade-off. How much the SWU costs, how much the feed material costs, and, and just trying to minimize your cost in total. And, uh, and then you, you can modify the tails assay. Um, it's another variable in this. But it is related to the, um, the feed. It was called the P1. It, it turns out that they're, they, they don't match fully. And so then what happens is, think of it, you're mixing two gases at different fractions of an uranium-235. They mix together, and it, it's sort of the average is the result. So you've actually lost some of the, of the SWU. Lost, you lost some of the enrichment effort. And it creates uh, some inefficiencies in the cascade. Um, and that's one of the reasons where um, that why the Iranian cascades don't work as well as expected. There's other reasons too, which we'll talk about. But this mixing um, between the the product of one stage and the and the um, tails of another uh, causes a loss in the enrichment. It's a little complicated. Is that an obligatory shape? Of a cascade or no, no, no. Okay. That's a, a representation. Okay, but it's can gonna, it be? It could be in a line. Rectangular. Yeah, no, no. Linear? More okay. likely, it'll be in a line. Okay. And well, I'll show some examples. I mean, it's hard. Maybe I, I'll try to show this. I, 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 I can't do it this week, but uh, there were very clever ways of piping. I, I, did I show any centrifuge cascades yet? Because you, right, okay. Some of the piping that yeah, it's just like a maze of pipes. And you can imagine you could really make it a mess. Mm -hmm. But the, some people in Europe in the 70s came up with some really clever ways to minimize the pipe work. And, it, and it's, um, Pakistan was very clever. AQ Khan realized that it wasn't classified information, but it was proprietary. And he went to the, the company that actually was responsible for making all the pipe work and had designed the cascade pipe work. And he, and they, he had an agent say, I'll buy it. And they, they actually sold it. Mm -hmm. you know, it. Much to the enrichment companies, Urenko's chagrin, because uh, they viewed it as a secret process. Yeah. And, but it, and legally, it turned out that it, that it, was, it was all right. And, and Pakistan got this you know, really highly developed cascade story which it's then propagated mm -hmm. to Iran and, and uh, North Korea. Now, I wanted to ask about the shape because of, I think a lot of us have probably seen the Ahmadinejad picture. The yeah. famous no, one they're in the line. walking through and I'm going like, yeah. I don't know, where would yeah. Ahmadinejad be? Well, the, yeah, no, that's right. And this is a representation <laughs> yeah, okay. more than an actual um, way of doing it. The Iranian plants would need to produce 100,000 SWU per year in order to produce the low enriched uranium from Bushir, their, their enrichment plant now is around 10,000 at most. They could get it up to maybe you know, 15,000 if they turn enriched in all the centrifuges, maybe 20,000. So they have a long way to go before they could produce the fuel annually for just one commercial reactor. And is that assuming a certain level of enrichment? Like there's well, a three and a half. Of Where is it? Um, oh, it would be three and a half percent here. Okay. Yeah, no, that's I left that off um, by mistake. Now it takes roughly 200 SWU to produce about a kilogram of weapon grade uranium at 90 percent, and here and and it's again it's about 200 kilograms of natural uranium, and the tails assay here is 0.25, and so you. Um, 
and then it, it takes about 5,000 SWU to produce 25 kilograms of weapon-grade uranium, or enough, what's agreed to, to be enough for a bomb. And you need about 5,000 kilograms of natural uranium. So when I said you didn't need much uranium, it's, it's 5,000 kilograms, five tons. Um, it's, for a country, that's not a lot of uranium. Um, when you say cascades are ideal, does that just mean no mixing happens? No, no, it, it, it's a structure, it's a model of a, of a cascade. Okay. That is, is, is actually, it's an ideal um, case. That's why it's called an ideal cascade, where you're actually um, approximating the, um, what a cascade actually looks like. And, um, and the, I should show a picture. Let me come back to that. I'll, I'll try to remember to do that. Remind me if I don't. Because if I show it a picture, it's, it's a lot simpler to see. But the, but the main thing is that um, the Iranian cascades, if they were going to make weapon-grade ur uranium, are far from ideal. And, um, and you get inefficiencies where the, these kind of numbers, um, you're not going to need 200 SWU. You may need 250, 300 SWU to get a kilogram. So you'd need a lot more centrifuges to get that extra SWU. So if each, each centrifuge is one SWU per year, then you need a, you need a, in this case, you would need 100 more centrifuges to get that one kilogram of weapon-grade uranium compared to the ideal case. So are there actually models of Sure. Okay. Well, you can never, you can approximate ideal. You can get close to it. And, and the way you do it with centrifuges is just keep putting more and more in, in the cascade. But there's a trade off. Um, I'll jump ahead a little bit. A centrifuge has a weakness. I mentioned that it, you know, if it's spinning rapidly, if it crashes, the rotor crashes, um, it, it, it's like an explosion. And what that means is you get a tremendous amount of heat and pressure. And that goes out the centrifuge and will just start taking out one centrifuge after another. And, and you can take out an entire cascade from this, this pressure and, and temperature pulse. And so you don't want to make too big a cascade. So if you wanted an ideal cascade, it's got to, it's got to be like one long um, cascade, essentially. And, and if all your centrifuges in your whole plant are in one long cascade and you have an accident and it takes out everything, you lose everything. So there's been a tendency to keep the cascade smaller. So that if you lose one, you're not losing anywhere near your whole plant. And but that when you do that, then you're farther from ideal. Thank you. Now there's another rule of thumb involves that if you take, if you have enriched uranium and you then feed that into a cascade, and so here, instead of 5,000 SWU to produce about 25 kilograms, if you have 3.5%, in this case you'd need 800 kilograms of it, you only need 1,350 SWU to get 25 kilograms. So you can, right there, you see it's almost a factor of four reduced in terms of the amount of SWU you need. So if you have a plan of a fixed enrichment output, then you would be able to produce this 25 kilograms of weapon grade uranium four times or in one quarter of the time. So you can speed up um, the uh, production of the weapon grade uranium. And if you have 20% um, enriched uranium and you feed it in, then it takes 260 SWU. So it's, um, and you change the tails assays. I mean, here um, I'm using a 3.5% tails assay. But this, but with this small amount of SWU, again, if, you, if your plan is 5,000, uh, you're, it's one twentieth of the amount of SWU needed to go to ninety percent from natural uranium, and that's why people were so nervous about the twenty percent enriched uranium in, in, in Iran. That it, it just so dramatically uh, shortens the time to get to um, weapon grade uranium, and they're nervous about this too. So they want to, in the negotiations, want to reduce the amount of low enriched uranium at three and a half percent enriched that's in Iran. And they're, and they're struggling with that. And, and the, the ideal solution is most of it would just be sent off to Russia. Like Russia could use it to make fuel for the Bushir reactor. Um, Iran has, has been saying, no, no, we're not going to send it out of country. We'll turn it into a, another kind of chemical form, a 
will go from hexafluoride to oxide, but you can convert it back pretty quickly. So the idea you would take the uranium hexafluoride, turn it all into oxide, which has been done, and then the oxide would be turned into fuel elements. And so it, it just takes longer. But nonetheless, it's these, the, the separative work calculator approach is a really handy one. And, and with the Weiss calculator, you can, you can pretty much, you can get a basic understanding of almost any enrichment plant that's in the proliferant states. Now what I'd like to do is just go through some calculations. You can try it. I just want to make sure you can punch in the numbers. Um, and the, um, does everyone have, yeah, in, in this case, I, you, let me go through this uh, first, but kind of write it down. So here, if you have a plant that's 100,000 SWU per year, how many bombs worth of weapon grade uranium could it make annually from natural uranium fuel where tw you want 25 kilograms of weapon grade uranium? And you assume a 0.25% tails assay. And so what that is, the calculation is it's 100,000 SWU per year. And again, the, if you remember, it's 5,000 SWU per 25 kilograms of weapon grade uranium. And so you're just dividing 5,000 into 100,000. And you get 20 bombs worth. So in whatever that is, it's about two weeks that they could have enough for a bomb. And again, it's idealized, so it's actually a little longer. But nonetheless, the West doesn't want to see Iran with that kind of capability where there's still a lot of worry that the whole intention of this program is to, is to have um, nuclear weapons. Now, I think we've actually, maybe you'll be saved these calculations. Um, <coughs> Well, why don't you, well, let's just go through this. Can you do this one? 